welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you guys, a Fame Expo haul. And if you don't know what Fame Expo is, it's a hair and makeup show. It's like iMats, but a little bit smaller. So yeah, I went there with a mental list in my head of the things that I needed to get. Um, and did I stick to that list? <laughs> no, I didn't. So I picked up a few things a few things and I wanted to share with you the things that I did get so come along on this adventure with me and we shall delve into the things I have purchased from the fame expo what the heck was that <laughs> because I'm filming in front of my window using natural lighting my natural lighting is slowly diminishing so I want to make this haul as quick as I possibly can if you want to see any in-depth or any more detailed information or anything on any specific product please let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to keep that in mind or post something on Instagram or anything like that so without further ado let's get into the haul so the very first thing that I picked up is lashes and every time I do go to a show I try to pick up as many lashes as I can because at the shows it is you know quite affordable because you get one dollar lashes or 10 for 13 and I go through lashes quite a bit so yeah lashes are always a must I'm not gonna go through each one they're just your simple basic lashes yeah so the very next thing that I picked up is Perry and Spirit, which is my favorite, favorite brush cleaner ever. And I always go and I pick this up and yeah, this is the best. So if you are looking for a great brush cleaner, I totally, totally recommend this. It smells exactly like oranges. So yeah, Perry and Spirit is awesome for your brushes, gets rid of everything, sanitizes them, cleans them and makes them just fantastic. The next thing that I picked up are these brushes from Royal and Langnickel. I love Royal and Langnickel. They are such affordable brushes and they are really good quality too. And I picked up a similar set to this, but I think in white last time I went. And I love it. This thing was only $10 and it comes with like a little brush holder pack thing and it comes with six brushes. One of them is a double sided brush, but this is awesome and for $10, I mean... Hi. <laughs> but yeah, I've been using the other one that I purchased like all the time and I really, really like them. So I picked up another one for myself. So yeah. So the next thing that I picked up were these shadow shields and I've never used these before. So I thought I would give them a try. I believe they were $7 and it comes with quite a few of them. Let me pull one out. So they look like that and they have a little tape on them so you can gently apply it to underneath your eye to catch any fallout or you can do a straight smoky winged out liner or with just shadow so you get like that sharp um thing but yeah i thought these were great and i'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this so yeah so the next thing that I picked up was this Embrolease Hydra Matte Emulsion. It's a moisturizer slash primer and I've been using the original formula for quite some time. And this specific one is the matte version. So if you are anywhere near oily to normal skin and uh, you want to control your oil, this one's going to be really good. It doesn't have any silicone in it and it has cornstarch which is so much better than silicone because that's what absorbs the oils on your face so i thought i would definitely give this a try i've heard amazing things about it so yeah next up i decided to finally get myself a pair of mink lashes i have never worn mink lashes or purchased mink lashes and i've always wanted to i'm not the type of person to wear lashes but sometimes i feel like i just want to put a pair of really really pretty natural lashes and no makeup just really simple and make that a look and so yeah I decided to get a pair and this is from Blinking Butte I got the design number four they are really really pretty they have a kind of wispy natural look to them and I really really like it I cannot wait to use this I'll definitely post pictures of the if I do use them duh. but yeah I great okay that fell out but yeah. <laughs> all right well anyways so that's exciting and I can't wait to use these hopefully it goes well the next thing that I picked up was this Elsie foundation and I have already used an Elsie foundation before. I have one in the color vanilla but I find that it's a little bit too dark for me. Um, I'm pretty much finished with it so I said you know what why not get a new one. Um, I got this one in the color cameo which is one shade lighter than vanilla. So yeah this is a great foundation and I had to stock up with another one. Yeah. 
the next place that I visited was Morphe Brushes, and besides brushes, which I will get to in a moment, I picked up a few other things. I got this eyebrow kit, and I just really needed an eyebrow kit that had a bunch of different colors in it, from taupey to ashy to warm to blondes to everything, because I have clients that have every type of hair color, and I just need something to cover that basis, so yeah. Um, it comes with two creams that you can do highlighting or put under the brow to brighten up the face or anything like that. So this palette was awesome and I believe it was $10. So yeah. The next thing that I picked up from Morphe were these two gel eyeliner pots. And I basically got the color black and the color brown. Um, I've heard really good stuff about this so I decided to give it a try. So that is what it looks like. Just your average little gel liner. Um, I can't wait to use this because um, swatching it on my hand, it has like a more matte finish, which I like, and that's always a good thing. Can never go wrong with having gajillion gel eyeliners. Yeah. Last thing that I got from Morphe are these brushes. I will very quickly go through them. The very first brush is an M349, and it is just a really chunky, domed, rounded brush and it's super dense perfect for blending in liquid foundation or i feel like you can use this if you wear mineral foundation like mineral powder i feel like this would be really nice too so that one is that the next brushes i got were the g6 and the g1 from the gunmetal collection i already own both of these brushes but i love them so much i had to get another one so yeah the next one is an m556 and this one is a really nice kind of I don't know, it's just like a nice powder brush. I feel like this is going to be great for applying powder underneath your eyes or your whole face or even blush. So yeah, this one is good. And the last two brushes I got were blending brushes. This one is a little bit longer and this one is shorter. This one is the E22, which is the longer one. And this one is the E17, which is a shorter one. Um, you can never have enough blending brushes, honestly, so... So the very last things that I got from Fame Expo were these two palettes from Saucebox. And if you know me, you know I love my Saucebox Etude palette. That palette is everything. It's life. It's just amazing. If I had to choose one palette to live off of, it would probably be that one. Um, but yeah, I decided to get two more. And this little orange one is called a Temptation palette. And are you guys ready? Are you ready? Okay, hello. Uh, it's full of bright, vibrant colors. It has a yellow, a turquoise, a royal blue, and a really sparkly gold-infused orange. They are so, so pigmented. Um, I'll definitely post swatches on my Instagram, but I want to take some pictures of these before I, you know, touch them. So, yeah, this is the Temptation palette. And the last palette is the Batalash and Saucebox collaboration. This palette is absolutely beautiful. I am so glad I got this one. It's amazing. So, let's look inside of it. Are you ready? So, these are the colors inside. You have four matte shades and then you have four shimmery shades. These colors are everything and I cannot wait to use this. Again, I will post pictures on Instagram, but I don't want to touch them quite yet because I want to take some pictures of them. But let me tell you, they are all so pigmented, like amazingly pigmented. So yeah, that is that and I'm excited. So that was my Fame Expo haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions on any of the products or want any in-depth reviews on any of them, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will post all the products in my description bar in order in case you miss something. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie, because I always post pictures and swatches and products there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and until the next one i will see you then bye guys but first coffee it's the story of my life i feel super casual on my bed in my sweatpants hey welcome to my crib <laughs> so today i what did i do today what is going on with me? <sighs> now I know why Gigi Gorgeous does it because it's just really fun to throw things behind you. It's a little scary. It's like living life on the edge. I don't know how she does it. I would literally throw it off my bed. I, yeah. Because, yeah, makeup. Did I stick to that list? <sighs> Answer me that. No, I did not. I didn't. No. Mm -mm. Not at all. 
And if you hear some background noise, there's people in my backyard. How nice. Like, litter. Uh, can you do me the biggest favor and just for like maybe like a 30 minutes or so like don't yell with your friends or come too close to my window because I'm trying to film something and you guys are like yelling and I it's like in my video so just keep it down just a little bit and then I'll text you like when I'm done okay thank you <clears throat> bye so if you've made it this far in this video, I might as well explain my background. So my background consists of my closet, which you guys are so lucky it's closed because you will all have a heart attack. Yeah. This is my bed. That is my desk with my computer. This is my makeup kit. And that is my purse. That was my background. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.